In this video, we're going to look at scheduling multiple concurrent projects in Liquid Planner. On the Projects tab here, I have two projects going, a website project and a site maintenance project. Remember that the default scheduling behavior in Liquid Planner schedules each person's work in the priority order established here on the Projects tab. So I have work in both the website project and the site maintenance project. That means that the work in my higher priority project, the website project, is scheduled to be completed first, then my site maintenance project work is scheduled after. Essentially, this is like working on one project at a time, and that's not reality for most organizations. Most of us are juggling multiple concurrent projects, so you'll want to use packages in Liquid Planner to establish the order you intend to work on tasks from across multiple projects. So, to manage my tasks using packages, I'll do something like this. The first thing I'm going to do is my client research task from my website project. The very next thing I'll do is review content from my site maintenance project. That means that instead of having wireframe second on my task list, I want this review content task scheduled as my second task. Right now I'm not scheduled to start reviewing content until this date, but I want to bump that up. To change the order of how the tasks are scheduled, I'll create a priority override by placing this task up in a higher priority package. We start all Liquid Planner workspaces with an ASAP tasks package, like you see here, and it's placed up above my projects. What I'll do is I'll select both of these tasks by holding the control key, and then I'm going to drag and drop them right into the ASAP tasks package. Before I refresh my plan, take a look at the schedule bar for this task that I dropped into the ASAP package. The schedule bar is still sitting out here on the timeline. Now I'll refresh my schedule and notice that the schedule bar pulled in after moving the task into that higher priority package. The start date here also updated. So instead of starting my task after working through all of the tasks in my higher priority project, I'm now scheduled to start reviewing content sooner as my second highest priority task. Here are a few things you notice when you start creating priority overrides for your tasks. First of all, the task appears in two places, but don't worry, we're not making you work on it twice. Here's the task in the package. This is the task's priority position. This is the position that drives the scheduled dates for the task. But the task also appears down here, the placeholder position in the project folder. We don't want to break the task's relationship to the project once it has been placed in a priority package, so that's why you also see it here. There's an arrow to the left of it reminding me that I bumped up the priority of this task, and the breadcrumb to the right reminds me which package it's assigned to. I can click on that breadcrumb and it will jump me back into that package. Now, when you start creating priority overrides with packages, priority-based scheduling still applies. So the tasks in my priority package get scheduled first, since they're sitting higher in the plan. My remaining tasks are scheduled based on their priority order here on the Projects tab. Remember I placed these tasks into the priority package via drag and drop, but you could also change the package location from the edit panel. So I'll open up the edit panel for this task, and I'll go to the package field here and I'll select ASAP tasks. Now this task is also in the ASAP priority package. I might decide that that's actually the second task I want to work on, so I'll drag and drop it between the other two tasks. That's how easy it is to schedule tasks from across your multiple projects. If you're the type of organization that works sequentially through your projects, one ASAP package for the workspace might be sufficient for your prioritization needs. In this case, you would mostly work through one project at a time and then use the ASAP package to capture urgent tasks that bubble up. However, if you're juggling multiple concurrent projects and you need to prioritize a little bit farther out into the future, you'll probably need a more extensive priority package structure. Some teams like to have packages for months. They'll place tasks into the monthly packages in which they intend to work on these tasks. Other teams like to prioritize their upcoming tasks by week. You can also prioritize your work with sprint packages. This works well for agile teams. A sprint package represents the smaller set of work that you're going to focus on for the near term. The type of packages you use is up to you. Just make sure it reflects the way you naturally manage your work over time. Check out our knowledge base resources on packages to learn more about how packages can help you prioritize and organize your work.